Well, let's get to the news now, and there's pushback building against the new federal vaccine mandates on private sector employees. News 12 New Jersey's Marcy Rubin has more now on what this is going to mean for New Jersey businesses and those who work for them. More than 80 million Americans will be affected by this new mandate, which says all people who work at companies with 100 or more employees nationwide will need to be fully vaccinated by January 4th or get weekly testing and wear masks. We're getting a lot of calls from our employer clients. You know, what Stephen they, Adler what is a labor doing, and employment uh, attorney what, based out of Roseland. He says many clients have already implemented policies similar to that mandate. Those who haven't need to start planning now. Within 30 days, they're supposed to have a policy put together. They're supposed to know who within their organization has been vaccinated and who hasn't. One congressman, Republican Jeff Van Drew, issued a statement saying the mandate will only exacerbate the labor shortage and that, quote, our economy will never get back on track if this administration continues to exert government overreach on our American businesses. This mandate will strip millions of workers from the right to make their own personal health decisions. It is completely unacceptable, and to put it simply, it is un-American. But Adler says it is legal and it's been done before. And since it's an OSHA rule, companies are advised to take it seriously. A single violation, uh, the fine is almost $14,000 and it's per violation. Right now, this is only for those larger companies with 100 or more employees, but the feds are already discussing, looking into whether it should be expanded to smaller businesses as well. Marcy Rubin, News 12, New Jersey. And companies will be required to provide paid time off for employees to get vaccinated, as well as sick leave for side effects. The new federal mandate also applies to workers at healthcare facilities that receive Medicare or Medicaid funding as well as federal contractors.